Welcome to Family Law Talk, presented by Kirk Stangy of Stangy Law Firm, PC. Stangy Law Firm is a family law firm in the St. Louis metro area with offices in Missouri and Illinois. Now, here's your host, Kirk Stangy. Welcome to Family Law Talk. My name is Kirk Stangy, and I am one of the managing partners of Stangy Law Firm, which is a family law firm with multiple offices in Missouri and Illinois, all in the St. Louis metro area. Well, welcome to Family Law Talk today. Today's topic is an interesting one. The topic is a uh, is this, which is think your divorce or family law case is a drag race, and this is based on an article on our webpage, familylawheadquarters.com, dated today, which is July 30th, 2014, and the title of that article is a family law or divorce law case is not a drag race. And so as a follow-up to the episode today, you can go to familylawheadquarters.com and read the article. Uh, We'll get to the topic itself here in just a minute, but I'll state, as I always do, that the choice of a lawyer is an important decision that should not be based solely upon advertisements, and that the information you obtain today in this episode is general in nature, and it may not apply to specific factual or legal circumstance. Therefore, if you need legal advice, you should definitely consult an attorney who's licensed and competent to practice law in your specific jurisdiction. All right, now on to the topic here today. Uh, this topic, again, is based kind of on this concept that a family law case is not a drag race or it's not a NASCAR race. And I think it's an interesting topic because it's something that comes up in the family law sphere all the time. At our firm, and I'm sure it comes up at lots of other firms, and really the uh, the whole premise of it is this, is, you know, a lot of folks, you know, they're going through a divorce or a family law case, and uh, maybe they didn't want to be going through that case in the first place. Maybe it wasn't something they wanted uh, we just see so many cases like that where people don't want it. They wish it'd go away. Maybe they wish they could reconcile uh, their marriage, or maybe they wish that uh, if it's like a modification or something, that if they're dealing with the ex-spouse, that some sort of something reasonable from their vantage point could take place. I mean, you name it, they didn't want the case. And so what a lot of folks want is uh, to get the case done as quickly as possible. I mean, fast. And, and we see this all the time, uh, unfortunately, where folks come in, and we understand where they're coming from because nobody enjoys these cases. Nobody would want to go through it. No rational person would choose to have to be in the court system in a family law case. But their whole perspective is like, get it done now. And sometimes the expectations are really pretty unreasonable in the scheme of things. I mean, people will come in and they think, you know, in short order, uh, the case can just be done fast. I mean, sometimes people think, you know, in a matter of a couple of weeks, they can get divorced or a couple of weeks, you know, they can get a modification done. Uh, really expectations that that are pretty lofty uh pretty pretty close to being impossible to re- uh to obtain but this is kind of where the folks are coming from and and so you know as an attorney our job obviously is to advise our clients um about their options in terms of settlement uh you know pros and cons of different courses of action uh of course you know apart from the duty of an attorney to advise a client about their options is also uh, a responsibility on the part of the attorney is the professional to exercise due diligence. So, um, you know, when you're talking about, uh, you know, different financial aspects to the case, for example, take income, you know, it's not wise really for an attorney just to take the opposing party's uh, uh, representation at face value in terms of their income. I mean, generally speaking, you want tax returns, paycheck stubs, stuff to verify uh, income of the parties, you know, when you get into credit card debts, for example, I mean, just approximations, estimations uh, in terms of what what the the amount of the debt might be. I mean, that, generally speaking, is not a good thing. I mean, we need to see statements as, as attorneys. Uh, we need statements in terms of what, what the actual amount owed is uh, and to whom and what the account numbers are. And, and when you get to other aspects like retirement accounts, uh, real estate, automobiles, I mean, you name it, uh, attorney's got a duty to exercise, uh, you know, an element of due diligence in terms of ascertaining, you know, what's in this marital estate uh, in terms of assets and debt and what is it worth. Uh, uh, and it's important that attorney know that because without it, it's really hard to advise a client as to the pros and cons of various courses of action. Of course, clients, again, a lot of them come in and they just want the case done quick. They want it fast. Uh, these cases cause them an extreme amount of anxiety. Uh, it, I use this example, which I think is a great example. Interestingly, uh, it, I mean, it's really an example that plays to me. I think back to, you know, in school years, you got to give that speech in front of the class, 
And uh, back in those days, the idea of a speech in front of a class would make me very nervous, something I didn't look forward to, you know, versus being the student that raised their hand and, and got it over with and went up there and did it first. I mean, I'd sit there and wait and wait and wait, hoping maybe the teacher would forget to have me go up there. Um, and I think that's the way a lot of clients look at a family law case. You know, they're not used to going into a courtroom. Uh, they're just not used to it. They're not used to testifying. Uh, they don't know what to expect. Uh, it's uncomfortable. Uh, they're not uh, sure what the social etiquette is, the way they should behave, the way they should act. It causes them a great deal of anxiety. And then they think about, you know, the possibility that maybe uh, dirty laundry could be aired or things that maybe they're not proud of. You know, they worry that, oh, my goodness, a judge is going to be making decisions about, you know, uh, my life and the life of my family, and that can cause clients a great deal of angst and worry. And so, you know, where clients come from in a lot of instances is just this desire to get it done quick, get it done fast. And I call it the drag race mentality, which is drive at excessive rates of speed. In other words, drive very, very fast, very, very quick. In other words, pedal to the metal, uh, have that car chugging around the track. And, you know, if you bump into some walls, you hit some other cars, you know, you figuratively get into an accident. You know, a lot of clients aren't so concerned about that. They just want to get to that finish line, get there as quick as possible, make the case end. Uh, because, you know, for them, uh, that takes away that anxiety. That takes away the worry about uh, having to appear in court. You know, if they're having to pay for their attorney, which, you know, most folks, you know, do. you gotta you got to pay for the attorney, then they think, uh, by paying, you know, by having the case over with, and now they don't have that attorney they have to pay for. That keeps the cost down. So big, big, big rush. And so when, you know, attorney says, slow down, client, you know, take some time, uh, get used to the idea that you're in the midst of a case, uh, really analyze the pros and cons, and analyze the pros and cons after you have the information. So let's get the financial information. Let's get the financial documents. Uh, take some time. Uh, give me time as an attorney to actually analyze the situation, get a handle on what took place and what's all out there. You know, a lot of clients resist that because, again, they just want the case done quick. They want it done fast. And what they think is by getting it done quick and getting it done fast, you know, a lot of folks think this will give them the relief that they desperately want. Uh, it will give them the ending uh, that they sought uh, to the situation maybe they didn't want in the first place. Of course, an attorney is an attorney in, in doing lots of these cases and dealing with lots of clients. So what I've learned, uh, you know, pretty quickly in my career and throughout time is what, what any client is going to do at the end of the day is, sure, right out of the gate, they might be happy for that quick outcome. Uh, they might be excited that uh, the legal costs, you know, aren't going to be incurred anymore and the case will be over with. But the way most clients are going to judge these cases, at some point, uh, is that, you know, they'll look back at it a year later or maybe five years later, maybe 10 years later, 20 years later, and they'll, you know, they'll look back on it and, and, and then, you know, you analyze it and you think, well, how did that result really turn out? I mean, how did, how did it really pan out? And a lot of clients, I think, that, that have this NASCAR mentality or this drag race mentality of getting the case done quick and it done fast, you know, a lot of folks end up having result, uh, I think, remorse, you know, buyer's remorse in terms of what they agreed to. And then in retrospect, they think, you know, I should let my attorney be more thorough. I should have slowed down the game a little bit, taken a little bit of time. You know, a lot of folks can be helpful in some cases to see a counselor and just make sure that you've got a handle on your emotions, uh, that you're certainly, um, you know, judging any settlement proposals, uh, various possibilities in terms of case from a rational perspective, uh, not an entirely emotional one. And that's hard for a lot of folks out there uh, because, like I say, they get in this thing and they just want it to end. I mean, it's almost like going to the dentist and that root canal uh, has to take place, and, and you just want it done quick, I and mean, you want to get the heck out of there and get home. And unfortunately, I think that's the way a lot of folks look at family law cases. So, you know, to the listeners out there, you know, I mean, as a general rule, I mean, you want to make sure that what uh, what the result was was thorough, that it's fair, and that it's something you can uh, you can live with the rest of your life. Obviously, nobody's excited about having to go through a family law case. You certainly don't want to judge these cases from the perspective that you know, it was perfect and it was fantastic, because I don't think anybody's going to feel that way after going through a divorce or family law case. Obviously, it's not an enjoyable experience, but what you don't want is a bunch of regrets. Uh, you don't want to look back at it and think, you know, I should have taken some more time uh, to analyze my options. 
Uh, I mean, you don't want that. And the, the phrase I put in the article is, don't be a penny wise and a pound foolish when it comes to your life. I think that that kind of gets to the underlying premise of this article. Take some time, analyze the pros and cons, and once you have the information that you need to make an informed decision and, and you've uh, really assessed the situation, come to terms with the fact that you're going through a divorce or family law case, uh, you know, then that's the time to really analyze which way you want to go. You know, what's going to be good for you in the long term? Uh, does it make sense to settle the case? On the other hand, is this a case that needs to be tried? Uh, those are all decisions you want to make, not under the gun, not uh, not when you've got the pressure of this case and all these kind of emotions and and this desire to just simply hit that finish line. So that is the topic today. Uh, it's an interesting one. Hopefully you all found it enjoyable and enlightening in, in some respects, I hope. Again, as a follow-up to uh, the episode today, go to FamilyLawHeadquarters.com. Check out the article titled, A Family or Divorce Law Case is Not a Drag Race. You can see it on FamilyLawHeadquarters.com. The date of the article itself is July thirtieth, two 2014. So thanks for the listeners for tuning in to Family Law Talk with Stangy Law Firm. Stay tuned to our next episode coming up. Thank you. For- Thank you for listening to Family Law Talk with Kirk Stangy. Visit StangyLawFirm.com for more about today's topic or to put Stangy Law Firm to work for your family today. Get great holiday savings with digital coupons at Safeway. This week at Safeway, get bone-in USDA choice beef ribeye roast for $5.97 per pound with digital coupon. Limit one while supplies last. Plus, get large gold pineapple for just 97 cents each with digital coupon. Limit one. Also this week at Safeway, get bone-in signature select classic ham, shank half or whole, for only 87 cents per pound with digital coupon. Limit two items. Visit Safeway.com or head in store for more deals. Judy was boring. Hello. Then Judy discovered Chumbacasino.com. It's my little escape. Now Judy's the life of the party. Oh, baby, mama's bringing home the bacon. Whoa, take it easy, Judy. The Chumba life is for everybody. So go to Chumbacasino.com and play over 100 casino-style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. Chumbacasino.com. No purchase necessary. Void were prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details.